Hi and welcome to week five of US history. This is the weekly preview of the objectives that we will be covering this week. So as we explore some key aspects of American history during the 19th century, the early 19th century, we will discuss American relations with Britain, France, and Spain, Jefferson's election as a democratic Republican revolution, the impact of John Marshall's tenure as Chief Justice of the United States, the significance of the Louisiana Purchase, and an analysis of Jefferson's foreign policy. Okay, so we will start by examining American relations with the major European powers at the turn of the 19th century. The United States found itself caught between Britain and France, both of whom were engaged in a global struggle, the Napoleonic Wars, and the Britain's policy of impressment, where American sailors were forcibly recruited into the British Navy, strained relations. Meanwhile, France's embargo policies affected American trade. Thomas Jefferson responded with the Embargo Act of 1807, which aimed to protect American interests by restricting foreign trade. However, this controversial policy had severe economic consequences and did not resolve the underlying issues. Now, some saw Jefferson's election as a democratic Republican revolution, but what did this really mean? So Jefferson's election in 1800 marked a shift in American politics. He was a democratic Republican, although nowadays you may be familiar with two parties, one being the Democrats, the others being the Republicans. Um, Jefferson at the time, there was a party named the Democratic Republican Party. He advocated for a limited government and for uh, more powerful state rights. His victory over John Adams, a Federalist or a supporter of a strong central government, signaled a peaceful transition of power between political parties, which was a significant de departure from European norms. Additionally, Jefferson's presidency marked a change in the interpretation of the Constitution. In the landmark case of Marbury, Marbury v. Madison, Chief Justice John Marshall established the principle of judicial review, granting the Supreme Court the power to declare laws unconstitutional. This decision strengthened the judiciary and impacted the balance of power in the United States. We'll also turn our attention, our attention to the importance of the Louisiana Purchase. So in 1803, Jefferson negotiated the purchase of the Louisiana Territory from France for $15 million. This doubled the size of the United States and opened up vast new territories for westward expansion. Jefferson commissioned the Lewis and Clark expedition to explore this newly acquired land, leading to valuable geographic knowledge and diplomatic relations with Native American tribes. Finally, we will analyze Jefferson's foreign policies. So beyond the Embargo Act, Jefferson pursued a policy of neutrality, trying to avoid being drawn into, into the European conflicts. However, his attempt to remain neutral provided challenging given the aggressive actions of Britain and France towards American ships. The Chesapeake Clepard incident, where a British ship attacked an American vessel, further stra strained relations with Britain. It was clear that the United States needed a more robust navy and defense. So, in conclusion, the early 19th century in America was marked by com complex international relations significant domestic changes and transformative de decisions. The Louisiana Purchase and Jefferson's foreign policies shaped the nation's future, while the principles established by Chief Justice John Marshall had a long-lasting impact on American uh, history. So I want to thank you for following so far. I hope it was informative, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.